What is going on guys, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I want to wish everybody a happy new year. This is my first video of 2019 and I decided to complete it here with the Seafly Smart Drone that I got directly from this company. They went ahead and reached out to me this time and said, hey Jay, do you wanna go ahead and try the Smart model? We have seen your videos about the Obtain and then we saw the video about the Dream and we just simply want to send it to you so that way you can try it out and give your followers an honest review and that's exactly what I would do here guys these drones they are I would say ideal for beginners if you guys want to start with something a little bit more serious other than the toys that we find on Amazon or even local retail stores like Walmart Best Buy those drones are great don't take me wrong but if you guys want the feeling of something a little bit more premium but not pay the price then this is definitely the way to go this drone here comes with brushless motors it has GPS position hold altitude hold return to home features and it has a decent 1080p camera so again Again, this is a great way to start in my opinion so anyways guys here we have the box this thing has also been known as the JJRC X7 so there's uh, another brand for it but it's exactly the same model and I think that only one youtuber out there which is quadcopter 101 he completed the JJRC X7 version I have the C fly version here so anyways getting a look here at the box uh, in my opinion, it looks a little bit incomplete. Here you have the website in case you guys want to go there directly and order it. I would recommend using things like Gearbest, Banggood, or any other website that you know that accepts PayPal. I think, in my opinion, it could be a little bit faster when it comes to shipping. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and open this box and check and see what comes inside. It is a pretty light drone. And as I mentioned before, I have tested this brand before with the Obtain, which looked like the Mavic and then the Dream, which looked like the Spark. This is the first model that I see that has basically its own design and it is not mocking or copying any other model out there. So here we have the manuals. They provide some information. It comes with a QR code for the application. You have it for the App Store on the iPhone and uh, Google Play for Android. All you have to do is just scan it and it'll take you directly to the application. Really easy to do. Inside of this foam divider, we have the transmitter. We get the charger for the battery of the drone. We get the drone itself with the brushless motors, as you guys can appreciate. There we have the uh, 1080p camera and so on and so forth. I'll be talking more about the drone in just a second. We have here the bracket that goes on the transmitter so that you can hold your uh, smartphone and it stretches. It will hold anything from, uh, I would say a small phone, maybe the iPhone 6 all the way up to the Galaxy Note 9. So it works with pretty much any phone size out there. We have the props. It only comes with two extra props. So we get the four that go in the drone and then you get two extra ones in case you break one. So be careful if you guys are a learner, I would say just order more. Here we have the tools and the nuts so that we can install the propellers. We get the USB cable so that way we can charge um, or use it with this piece which connects with the uh, micro USB and here we have the wire and you can also use it here with the transmitter in which charges inside of these antennas by the way the transmitter antennas are real I'll be talking about it in just a second so here we have the USB uh, the micro USB port with the transmitter and finally here we have the battery guys like I mentioned before there's uh, two different versions one of them comes with uh, two batteries and then the other one comes with only one battery which is the one that I got here this is a 2600 milliamp battery uh, 7.6 uh, volts according to the uh, specifications here so it is not a super powerful uh, battery however it is smart it does have the power switch right here but it doesn't give you the battery indicator as you guys can tell right here so you will have to insert this in the drone and then that's how you can tell if it is completely charged i think that you can also uh, place it here first of all it comes with a sticker by the terminals or covering the terminals there we go and you would just connect the charger like so and then i think if i press here the power key it will tell me the battery actually it doesn't you will have to connect it here we have the battery indicator so all these um, dots or lights they need to be full green in order for you to tell that it has been charged and uh, that's pretty much it guys so here we have it for the unboxing let me get everything together and talk more about the drone 
All right guys, so here we have the drone all set up and ready to go. It took me literally about a minute and a half to just install all the propellers. They come labeled with the letter A and B. Just install them corresponding to the arm. So here we have the letter A and then the prop has the letter A. Just match it and that's all you have to do. On the front side here we have that 1080p camera that I mentioned before. On the bottom side here we have the LED lights. So that way if you guys are flying this at nighttime, you know what your front side is and your back side is. Very simple. On the side here we have a micro USB port. This is only so that you can extract data from the SD card directly uh, from the drone or you can use it to do firmware upgrades. It's very self-explanatory. You can also do firmware upgrades directly from the application. On the back side here guys, we have the battery slot. As I mentioned before, this is a 2600 million battery. So 7.6 volts, just insert it in and you're basically all set to go. On this side, we have the micro SD card slot and it goes upside down. So whatever your logo is, just place it upside down, insert it in and it'll click on for you. That's all you need to do. And we are all set to go. Like I said before guys, the only thing to get this thing running that you need to do is calibrate the compass. Uh, for that, again, you just turn it on here on the back side. Start with the drone itself. You will hear a beep like so. So then here, when it comes to the transmitter, it's really easy to use as well. The first thing you find here is the power key. We have the auto takeoff, auto landing button. Then we have the uh, other one, which is for photo and recording. I believe if you press it once, it'll take a photo. If you press it for about two seconds, it'll start recording for you. Here we have the uh, return to home button. Then on this side, we have the mode button. If you guys hold it for about two seconds, it'll either go into GPS mode or altitude hold mode. And, and that's pretty much it. So here we have the uh, two levers so that we can, um, or the two joysticks so that we can of course fly the drone it comes with uh, two antennas and these are real antennas i saw the wires on the inner side of it then we have this wheel so that we can move the camera up and down and uh, that's pretty much it guys it comes with a built-in battery so you don't need to worry about purchasing batteries for this just make sure that you charge it here on the upper side where the micro usb port is located and that's all you need to do the bracket clips on very easily so let me remove it here real quick so that way you guys can get a glance just put it in like so, snap it in, and you're all set to go. So then after the drone has been turned on, press this for another two seconds, and now it has bonded here with the drone itself, and that's pretty much it, guys. Now, from the QR code that I showed you guys before, make sure that you scan this, or just search for the Seafly application, and that's all you have to do. So the app looks like this. But before we go into the app, go here into your Wi-Fi settings, and make sure that you find the one that has drone and then it says 6CB13D. Make sure that you connect to this one here. And once connected, the application is going to take you directly to the drone, which is the smart. So there we go. And all we have to click is on start fly. And there we go. We are now connected. Right now, I have it on position. Uh, mode if you guys have it on position mode and you don't have enough GPS satellites locked in it will not say ready to fly for this you will have to change it into altitude hold by pressing this button for a couple of seconds and now it says altitude and since it is not using the GPS signal now it says ready to go so just keep that in mind but again if you have already sufficient uh, signal which I think is after nine satellites this will be uh, enabled no matter on what uh, mode you have it. It could be altitude or GPS and it would just start flying for you. So just keep that in mind. Right now the battery is about uh, 40%. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card installed. Then here from this uh, telemetry, we can enable the recording, take photos and whatnot. So really easy to do. We can even take off directly from here. We can set uh, points of interest using the maps as usual. But like I said right now, I don't have enough signal, so this is most likely not going to work. And I think I just closed the application. Let me try that one more time. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So again, this is a very self-explanatory application, and it looks very similar to the DJI drones, if you guys ask me. On the bottom here, we have the height, the distance, and uh, a whole bunch of information down here, which is really useful. And uh, to activate the motors, all we need to do is move these two to the side like so and to deactivate it just move the left lever all the way down and that will deactivate the motors and that's it 
So now that we know how to set up the Seafly Smart Drone, I went out there to the field with Mayu today and I had a blast with this drone. It lasted me about 70 minutes, which in my opinion I think is quite okay, uh, even though they're promising about 25 minutes and that's a little bit of a gap. But keep in mind guys that this is still a budget drone. If you want to fly a little bit more, just get that secondary battery and you will be much better off that way. But anyways guys, when it came to the position hold mode and the altitude hold mode, all these features work so well and I felt at ease at all times. About two or three years ago, I had a few Chinese drones at this price point and some of them just took off mysteriously. I mean, I had so many drones in the past guys that I avoided to complete a video because of that reason. But now in recent years, Years after I would say maybe 2018 2017 up until now drones have gotten a lot better when it comes to GPS hold and this one right here is definitely no exception believe it or not guys this thing holds the position a little bit better than my hubs and Zeno which drags a little bit sometimes so I mean other than the fact that well this camera doesn't have a great gimbal meaning that when you're flying out there you're gonna see some jello effects and also some shakiness coming from the camera it is a very good starter drone for anybody out there you're not breaking the bank it has brushless motors it comes with a 1080p camera easy to fly easy to set up you really can't go wrong with the c fly smart especially at this price point so now that we know how this thing flies and how good it is guys, I think that we have completed this video. Let me know on the comment section below if you guys have any questions, any doubts, and if you want me to complete a more in-depth uh, video on how to set it up, I can do that for you as well. But trust me guys, if I did it, my daughter can do it, anybody can do it out there. It is a super easy to understand drone, you won't be disappointed. With this being said, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The giveaway announcement is coming after this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys on my next one.